I recently received this comment. Good job. Very interesting and simplified. Please, can you teach on how to divide circle in different segments and clip pictures in? I'll be very grateful for that. God richly bless you. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to divide a circle in different segments and clip pictures into it. And this is coming up. <laughs> Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Alright, so here in Photoshop, the first thing you need to understand is the very basics. How do you clip images into any shape at all? So first of all, let's choose the circle to and use that as a reference. So we're going to create a shape right over here and you can change the color. So we double click on the color. Mind you, this color that won't actually affect anything. Okay, so you can choose any color at all. Now let's go ahead and click OK. To clip mask an image inside a shape, it is very simple. Go to File, Place Embedded. So let me use this image for instance. So once I bring the image here, I can right click and then go to Create Clipping Mask. Okay, and it is going to mask it into the shape. Now if I press Ctrl T and then I transform it, you realize that it doesn't go outside of the shape and basically the image has been clip masked into this i've also made a video on how you can make a part of the picture outside the image and the rest inside the image but for this question we are going to divide the circle here into different segments and try to clip mask different images into that so let me get rid of this image right over here now we have our circle we've created our circle very simple there might be different ways to do this but the simplest that i found out is this one first thing you need to do is you need to rasterize your image we are going to divide the image into segments and we can't just divide shapes okay so you need to convert it to a layer so you right click and then you're going to rasterize the layer now let's go for the rectangle tool over here and we are going to create a very simple rectangle this is going to depend on how big you want your spaces to be so if i want my space to be as little as this i'll just close the rectangle and if i want it big i'll just open it so let's choose something like this and this is going to be fine now we are going to make sure that this is in the center press ctrl a you are going to center it both horizontal and vertical you realize that this has already divided the shape but this is not what we are looking for now what we need to do is we we'll go to the layer thumbnail over here we hold ctrl and left click it is going to create a selection for us and then we can go to the ellipse or the circle that we created and then we can delete that part now if you take off our rectangle in the background this is what we have i hope you understand where we are going now let's turn the rectangle back on press ctrl t can right click this and then we can rotate it 90 clockwise it is going to turn into the middle exactly in the middle you repeat the same process you hold control and then you left click and then you select your ellipse and you delete now if you hide your rectangle you have four segments now you can go further and divide it into some more let's go further so we turn the rectangle back on and now when you press ctrl t i want you to realize something from here the moment you start rotating this you realize that the angle here will start changing so assuming i want to divide this and this all that i need to do is i will scale my rectangle to this side until i get around 45 degrees so let's go a little bit more so currently it is in the opposite direction so if you don't want to stress yourself you can just put minus 45 and then it is going to split this side for you so if you want to split this side too what do you do you are going to rotate it 45 degrees so if you change this one to 45 you realize that it will come this way now let's put the minus here and then hit enter you can now repeat the same process control and select and then we will delete and then we will select our rectangle control t now if you don't hit on the control t you are not going to find or you're not going to get this angles okay now we need to change it so we're going to change this to 90 degrees enter and then we can delete that part too 
Now, your circle is divided. Very simple, right? But then, if you bring an image in, for instance, you go to place embedded, and then you bring this image in, for instance, it still will fit into all the rectangle because as of now, it's still one rectangle, the same rectangle, okay? So, what you need to do before you bring your images in is you just need to separate each of these rectangles. You can easily do that by choosing the polygonal axle tool. You can zoom in from here. Assuming I want to separate this one, I'll just click, click here, and then. So this is more like when you buy a pizza and you're trying to separate them. Okay, so you right click and go to layer via cut. Now this shape is separate. You can move it to wherever you want it to go. You can reposition it. You can make it overlaps or anything you want to do with it and also if you want to bring an image and clip mask it into that particular side of the shape it's very easy so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring your image right over there this time around if you right click and go to create clipping mask it just clip mask into that particular layer only now we can reduce the size or you can transform it and this is fine we go ahead and we select the ellipse again and then we choose our polygonal axle tool and then we are going to cut this one as well so right click and cut always make sure that after you've cut you come back to the main layer else you're going to really experience an error for instance if you make the selection like this and then you are not on the right layer but you right click and you go to layer via cut it is going to give you this error okay so make sure that you are always on here before you right click and then you cut so i'm going to go ahead and cut all the rest and then i'll cut you when i'm done now once you're done with your cutting all that you need to do is you make you select the layer and then you can go to file place embedded and then you can insert your image so this one right over here you right click and then you go to create clipping mask and you just have to position it to make it look nice select the third one file place embedded and then you can add the next one is that very simple you get it and now you can position it right over here let me select this one And just like that you've successfully divided your circle into different segments or different parts and if clip marks the images into it now like i explained earlier the beautiful thing about this is that if you want to just move just this one you can just take it off like that okay or you can bring it up depending on how you want to be creative about your design you can just do that one thing that i mostly see people do is after doing this you realize that they will bring another ellipse or a circle in the middle like this so that it creates some sort of depth so let's position this in the middle like that and then you can right click go to blending options and add sort of a, a stroke to it so let's see this stroke right over there or this one let's use this one and then you can click ok ok from here and now once you're done with this you can group all of your items so you can group all of these into one and you can start moving it around you can position it here and then bring your other information over here as well or anywhere at all that you want to position it you can even bring it here and then the rest of your information will be at the top part so yeah basically that is how you divide a shape or a circle into different segments and clip mask images into it i hope this answers your questions and you've learned something from this if you have any further questions you can leave it in the comment section or if you want me to make a video about a specific topic or specific thing like this one leave it in the comment section and i will take that into consideration i'll be getting value out of this video if you did and subscribe to the channel it will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye